Right, by the name of Shina from Brooklyn. All right, and uh, she has a new single called Sugar Teeny, new video and everything. It's, it's out, available on all digital platforms. The video's out, everything is out. So uh, she's in the building. We're gonna get this going right, and uh, we're gonna get into Sugar Teeny. What's going on, Sugar Teeny? <laughs> how did that song come about? And um, even though it's obviously about. Um, a drink. It could not be, though. Know. What's going on? It could not be. You never well, it's, it's about a drink, but... So, okay, so the title is inspired by a cocktail, because you know I'm a bartender as well. Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar, you and they have not. a cocktail, their signature cocktail is called the Sugar Teeny. So that was the, the inspired title. But I was inspired by the song from, uh, you know, a little personal sexual experience. And then I was on my way on a flight to L.A. And I was like, you know what? I need to write about that shit. <laughs> and it just, the lyrics just started coming. Um, and then when I came back, <laughs> coming, pause. Like, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but um, when I came back, because um, I had wrote it to a, um, a, a beat a random beat and then when I came back um Tremaine Cribs he created a beat around my vocals and he produced the track for the track that's available now um for Sugar Teeny so yeah it came like. from you know a nice place you know I, I feel like my album is going to be all about love sex and blues anyway like I have whiskey and cigarettes that's out I'm like this is a big year because I'm going to release my first album ever okay um, okay we talked it about it last Wednesday. time we talked yeah, about I'm that gonna, last time. We're getting, yep, we're getting close to the date now. It's coming on Wednesday. It was supposed to be my birthday, but, you know, yeah. things happened, and I had to, like, push it back. It was a lot going on. And um, so it's going to be on Wednesday. I'm having a big um, party and um, and show at nice. Basquiat's Bottle in Brooklyn and Best Side. So, um, yeah, I'm going to release it that day. It's also the day that we lost. A great one, the notorious B.I.G. So we're gonna celebrate right. his life then too. I salute you for for keeping it going because uh, 20, you know, this whole COVID thing has been crazy for a lot of us creatives. So you know, just just thugging it out, and you definitely been able to to maneuver, working music, creating videos, and just keeping yeah. contributing to the space of of music creativity. You know what I'm saying? That's they ain't been easy out here. No, it has not been easy, but. We are here. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> We're so, here, and, and you um, know what? We just have to make it happen for ourselves. We can't um, stay stagnant. We have to let things like this um, inspire and encourage us to keep going, you know? And, like, just being able to get things done, that had a lot to do with just my surroundings of just being in good company, you mm -hmm. know? And um, just having to be innovative because I, for one, if anybody knows me, I do not know how to stay still. So... Quarantine was killing me. <laughs> I yeah. had to create, and um, so on that, during that time, I just created. Even if I couldn't be in the studio, I was writing. So you feel like you, little... came, you came out of COVID stronger as an artist? You feel like you you was able? You feel like stronger as an artist now that? I, yes, getting... I do feel like that. Um, because I was able to add more to my business with selling the sangria stage. It became mm -hmm. more than just a song. It was a cocktail, and it did really good. And um, I was able to build my brand, um, the Don't Blame the Bartender, like apparel and stuff like that. Um, they kept me working. When I was out of work, they kept me, the, the people kept me working. And the money and the, that I've made from those helped me record my music, helped me shoot videos. So I definitely feel like I came out stronger during so quarantine. Second. Our second convo within COVID, and um, we're at the end of where we get to get this body of work. And uh, mm -hmm. we're not going to blame the bartender.